Alright guys, so some very unexpected news today. It's now been officially confirmed. We are getting a season 2 of Record of Ragnarok and at the moment there really is no other information besides this as in, you know, no date of release or change of staff but apparently it is being handled by the same studio and also a bit more information that I think we could speculate on. So yeah, let's talk about it. So coming from the official Twitter account, it's been confirmed that season 2 is currently under production but we've also been told that season 1 is rerunning sometime in October so if I had to guess when season 2 would air I think it's probably set for January winter 2022 maybe you know because then it would be coming right when season 1 would finish its weekly rerun meaning weekly episodes for season 2 you know unlike the way we got season 1 dropped all at once which honestly I really really hope this is the case because it just feels way too soon for a season 2 and by too soon I mean I think just getting a whole new season dropped on us would probably not be what the fans are hoping for it's since it means getting the same kind of animation quality we got in season one. You guys see what I mean? Because I wouldn't even be saying this if season one actually lived up to the hype. And it isn't that season one is just entirely garbage. It's just that it ended up being so disappointing. Especially since I think a majority of people who watch season one will pretty much agree that season one is just average. Nothing to really immediately watch since the manga just, you know, does it so much better. And I only mention this because if season one had done the manga its justice, then by all means, I would be sitting here hoping that season 2 drops all of its episodes in full like the way we got it for season 1. But no, if the studio is actually committing to pushing out weekly episodes this time instead, then I think that's a lot better, especially since by the time January comes, you know, it'll only be 6 months since season 1 aired, and I honestly doubt that 6 months is enough time to prepare a full season drop unless it looks like what season 1 had to give. But it's also been confirmed that Studio Graphinica is coming back to handle the production, so overall, uh, you know, I don't want to be too pessimistic, right? But I really hope we don't get it in winter 22, at least spring or even late 2022. And it would just be even better if it does a weekly episode drop like every other anime, you know? And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just considering the final product of season one, I, I just imagine that they would want to commit more time than they originally did for season one for their next season. Now, unless the production behind this, you know, wants to, you know, treat the anime like a cash cow, then of course, of course they don't mind another slideshow season but yeah this is also really interesting because to avoid talking about spoilers here you know I'd say the next two fights in the tournament can maybe cover enough material for a season two I mean season two wouldn't even need to touch round six given how long rounds four and five are so I think it's reasonable that a season two could come out as soon as this year even if you know given the right attention of course but again season one was just so rough right like I can't even imagine why Netflix would want a re of that because if I'm correct I think even the Japanese fan base wasn't so happy about it either and also I think Netflix just announced part 6 of Jojo's for a full release this December so I really wonder what the production behind Ragnarok is like with Netflix juggling you know so many titles and I know the criticism for season 1 was generally mixed because it looks like it was actually doing really well on Netflix in its first couple weeks on release so I'm curious how they'd want to respond to that in a season 2 especially with the same studio because season two is only going to show a lot more Shiva and for those who don't know the whole Shiva controversy in India was just extremely messy even for Netflix so again it's really strange that they're confirming this so quick but hopefully it's because they found a better work schedule this time maybe and it isn't like we know season one had a lack of funds either so I honestly have no idea how to feel towards the season two let alone the announcement we're getting here I mean if you guys have seen my review on season one then you'll already know I was originally hopeful for a better season two but you know after today i'm just kind of crossing my fingers here that we don't even get a repeat of season one so yeah really short video here today guys i know if i get any more news i'll keep you guys posted so definitely subscribe to stay updated and i'm sorry if i'm coming off as pessimistic here that's not what i'm trying to be here at all but again i'm going to be on the lookout for any more news on the official twitter account or official website and get back to you guys on here as soon as i can and if you like the video guys please leave a like i'd greatly appreciate it let me know how you're all feeling about all this in the comments and like i said if you're interested in more ragnarok content make sure to subscribe that'd be awesome and that's going to be it for me guys have a great day